Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 22 of our Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod where we're playing as a Theon Greyjoy. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, uh, the Westerlands decided to declare a civil war for me on me for primogenitor succession. But I don't really think I want have to have primogenitor succession. I actually have more control over the elective, so I'd better stay with that and we already have 70% war score thanks to all the battles and since uh, the him lacking fleets. Oh, that's great. And actually he's not really lacking fleets that much. He's just uh, dumb. He don't really know how to use them properly. And he lands a uh, pretty small stacks in here. But yeah, he still have, according to the ledger, he actually still have 40,000 troops and I don't know if I could deal with that really. But I'll try. These battles are giving me quite a lot of war score, so I have a feeling that I could uh, get him to 100%, which is battles. By the way, also, our wife died in uh, previous episode, but we managed to not or not get widowed, and I'm actually willing to find myself a new one. Maybe like anyone with strong or genius trait? Please? Come on. Don't you... Don't you say there is no geniuses or strong or attractive... That is attractive. What about huge? We have a huge girl. Mm. Okay, let's check one more time if it's not lying about geniuses. Yeah, there's actually not many people, not many women to choose from because they all should be drowned god religion. So, uh, let's get huge one. Oh, 28 or 14? 14 seems fine. Yeah, and I also could educate her if possible, like, to get a, a little bit better. So, Arrange betrothal between you and... Or marriage between you and me? Yeah! I'm gonna lose some prestige. But it's fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Could I now start educating her myself? I could. Let's go and do this. While we still can. Everyone's concern or get some prestige. Yes, that's everyone concern. Oh, 25 gold. That's not the, as many, but it's fine too. Okay, the bots are still here. He's not landing anything. How much time already passed? One year. Is anyone receiving Tekken Warscore? No. I'm not receiving Tekken Warscore for holding my lands. He's not receiving Tekken Warscore ho for holding his lands. Which is kind of unfortunate. Uh... We could not re-raise any more troops from my people. Or I actually could raise 5,000 troops from my vassal somewhere. Uh -huh. Is it true? No. I would need to stand down and re-raise. Oh, but I actually could get like 600 from here. That's not too bad. And this 91 could just stay. Okay, if you... Yeah, he's now landing some more troops in here, like 10,000, if I'm correct. Oh, nice. This 1,000 gonna be easy to, dis, uh, to deal with. Now he's probably landing on my capital. It's planes, so that's actually fine if he were to land in here. Could I reach it quicker? Yes. I could. Mm. Actually, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I would prefer you to actually land on my capital because it's planes. And if you were to land on the hills, it would be actually easy, uh, harder to, for me to deal with. Okay, now you're probably landing on like all the week, right? Or on this place? Not sure. All the week, okay. That's unfortunate because there's actually no way for me to go around. Except getting a crossing penalty, but we have twice as much troops, or twice, uh, twice as many. So, are we going to be able to deal with that? Uh, I guess so. I'll just get in here. Your Grace, it has come to my attention that nobody has been designated as a regent. And you want to be my regent. Uh, you're awful, no. Yeah, let's just go and attack him. And this battle might actually be... One of the last battles we need to have. 
and 12 percent more war score and we definitely oh don't you dare reinforce while i have such a god damn it such an awful engagement and you're actually reinforcing but we managed to crush the flanks pretty quickly and now we are flanking your and yeah that's great uh port or lord ralph seeks to buy someone's loyalty i don't care okay so there's 100 percent finally and we captured your bodyguard and he's also lannister i'm gonna sell you into slavery should i Oh, my tyranny gonna increase because he's actually, like, uh, my vassals, my vassal guy. Okay, I'm gonna just imprison you. And what are gonna do with you? Actually, I have a feeling that if I were to, if I were to drown you, it's probably gonna also increase my tyranny level, right? I could banish him. If I were to drown you, it doesn't say that it's gonna increase uh, tyranny. Mm hmm. I definitely should do something with you because you're such a jerk. Okay, let's stand down all, all of our troops. Let's stand down our boats. Okay, everything is uh, everything is too down right now. Uh, we could drown you. We could bench you a nice watch. I could ransom you. No, I want someone else in charge. So it probably the best uh, option probably gonna be to just banish you. Have this guy on the charge, and no one gonna think that I'm a tyrant. So let's do this. And now we have this boy, who does not really hate me. So that's useful. And let's hope that our diplomat actually gonna be able to improve relations with him. Quite better. Actually, what if I were to send you... Oh, 20 gold for 30... For opinion? Yes. Oh, also winning the war should have gave us more martial, which is gonna be useful. And now we have House Batley on, on charge of Lannister's lands. Or ch on the charge of Westerlands. It's kind of... Meh. He's probably gonna get uh, a revolt on. Because first of all, he's an imbecile. Also, he considered as a rebel leader well, for some reason. For some reason, even though the rebel leader was actually his father. Oh well. Now he's on the wall, and he can't be much of a problem. The wars between the great powers of our Isles have subsided for now. Yeah. So, crown loyalists. Is this guy now going to be crown loyalist? He likes me a decent bit. Also, your guardian. Would I be your guardian? Oh, slightly not enough opinion. I need to make into drowned god religion somehow. Okay, my diplomat needs to just slightly improve relations with him. And that's gonna be enough for him to accept education. Okay, we have an ambition, become exalted among men. Or see our house on the Iron Throne. Okay, by the way, how's the North War doing? Truce with, with here. This truce was signed, uh, blah blah blah. The war against North was won by King Meron of the Iron Throne. So the North is now the part of the Iron Throne again. God damn it. And they're at war with the Riverlands for someone's claim on the crossing. Okay. I have. Someone like that sounds. It's not too much of a problem. Okay, this guy got a guardian. I just need to improve relations with you. I can't send you any more gifts. And I can't, like, transfer any vassals to you. Uh, how about, like, a marriage between you or a betrothal between you and one of my children? Like, my granddaughter. Must not marry an infidel. How dare you? I'm your king. Uh, you should be accepting. Okay. Your first fellow entrusted hunting dogs finally taking his last breath. Why is my wife showing in here? She's already long dead still. So. Uh, just bury him in the castle garden. 
And how's my new wife doing? She's already 15. Still educating her. Uh, my captain of the fleet is dead. Let's get a new one. And let's hope that you're actually gonna be better at training troops in the pike. Because I want to raise 7,000 troops from here, not 5,000. Why will not reinforce until the garrison is full? Oh yeah, it's not full, apparently. Mm. A plot where someone trying to keep, uh, kidnap someone. We have a new heir. What's happened to my son? Did he die of a maim? Died of severe maiming. And he was depressed still all this time. Oh my god. Most such a great character. I don't want his grandson to inherit. He's actually pretty... Pretty awful for this time. Have my son-in-law in here. But he's not my uh, my dynasty. Only... Uh, only Greyjoy is actually allowed. <laughs> and from Greyjoy I do not have much... Choice, really. We have our co cousin. Who is pretty awful. Is his in incompetent commander. Okay, I guess Khorid gonna be inheriting. So, well, let's try at least... To educate him myself. To make something decent out of him. Hmm, he have a claim. A claim on the castle of Cod Hall. Okay. Could go on the Riven. And we could say they pick up an ambition. No. Okay, this guy. This guy also need to be educated by me, but... I can't get it. Yeah, slightly more opinion, and it's gonna be enough. Okay, north. So, oh, the whale is also... Okay, so, now Riverlands and the north gonna come back under the Iron Throne, because... If north is now the part of the Iron Throne, so this guy's gonna be... As they were the vassals of north. So, now there's only the rich and me who are independent. And Iron Throne probably could actually kill us if he want. If he would want it, so... It's unfortunate. We have a daughter who's disinherited. Uh, should I be spending money on you? Ah, uh, well. I have... I have money, so why not? Also talking about money, I should be pillaging some more. 14,000 troops in here. Awesome. Let's go and burn down something in the Riverlands while they're at war. Mm-hmm. Okay, can't declare any wars before this guy gonna like me. Yeah, I just need to focus on the Westerlands uh, to become loyal. Then I'm gonna be allowed to declare wars. And then, also, there's a chance that I could convert him finally to the right religion. And then everything's gonna be great. Being around Sylvia makes me feel calm and satisfied. So I'm no longer stressed. Thanks, Sylvia, you lunatic. Uh, old girl. Cool. I wonder how less stressful it could be to, to be around the lunatic, but I guess it is. Uh, as a man returned from Luton, uh, the holding one of them hands you an axe with a strange purple shin and a plus etched into the handle, followed by the number two. After... <laughs> That's cool. After waiting it carefully on your hands, you toss aside your old grey axe in favor of the new weapon. With a plus... <laughs> plus two. It's like a... From like, all the RPGs where you're getting uh, strength based on your weapons. That's cool. And fun. So now we've got just plus two. Marshall for no real reason, which I'm kinda fond of. Okay. Uh, so we burned down this thing. It guys now starting to race through. Uh, let's go and actually fight them. Before they're gonna be able to race anymore. Maybe we could f capture someone into slavery, would be useful. I'm actually gonna be leading troops my uh, on my own. Why the heck not? I'll just crunch them and continue burning here. My son, who is attractive and also disinherited. Uh, yeah. Actually, if you're disinherited... Grooming you for command not gonna be reasonable at all, so... Not gonna be educated. So, 
Master Manoroth was captured in battle and now is my prisoner. Okay. Could we sell you into slavery? Also, by the way, this bodyguard of Lannisters need to be ransomed. 10 gold. Sounds fine. Oh, we could also castrate him? When we got this uh, uh, option? We could castrate this guy as well. As he's your prisoner, you may give the order to castrate him. Could I blind him? I could. Okay. And torture. Did I receive some... Trades that allowed me to do this? Hmm, I don't know. But that was not an option. Last time I've checked. Okay, that's cool. I'm not gonna be castrating him, of course. I'm just gonna probably sell him to slavery. Uh, where is it? Is it now... You do not have any land... Oh, you do have land hunting. You're controlling the city, you bastard. Oh, thanks. Slave reinforcement rate in our capital, finally. Well, maybe it's now gonna start growing a little bit quicker. So, yeah, unfortunately I can't sell you into slavery because you're a jerk. Could castrate you, but it's not gonna be really useful. Could blind you as well. Torture you. Uh, if you're not... Uh, you're gonna pay me only 25 ducats. No, I'm just gonna drown you. All the non-believers gonna be drowned. And now you have this guy uh, in charge of the city, that's fine. Except paying the ransom for the bodyguard, cool. How's the opinion of this guy? Still 8. Title lost in succession, Kingdom of the Iron Isles. Oh, because people are actually voting for my son-in-law. Uh, don't you dare. Uh, what if I were to kill him? I'm not gonna be too upset about this, actually. Because... Uh, haven't I nominated anyone yet? Oh, I thought I clicked it. Okay, apparently not. Let's vote again. Let's see if our people are gonna change their mind. I hope so. This guy who is disinherited uh, also not gonna be educated. And my new wife is pregnant. Nice, hopefully you're actually gonna give me a huge child. And hopefully... I'm gonna be able to vote for him. Okay, if you're not gonna stop voting for this guy, I would have to kill him. And I think I'm gonna do this right now. I know he's a pretty decent commander and stuff, but... I don't want to... lose the election. Oh, now I do not have as much... as much plot power for some reason. Please vote for my grandson. Under my guidance, my young grandson is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. Lou, see? He's now decent at uh, swordsmanship. So, vote for him. He's probably too young for these guys to uh, be willing to vote for him, but still. Salt wife is 53, no thanks. This one who is pretty decent at command. Sounds great. Why the heck? <laughs> this one was the, in the first in the list. And I totally haven't clicked on her, so... Okay, let's just her set her, her assign, aside. I don't need someone who's 53 as my sword wife. She can't produce any more babies. So we have 51 in here, uh, except... Let's set her assign as well. Just uh, so... We're gonna have less chances of they're trying to attack us. Mm. Okay, still no one voting for my grandson. We have... Harlow and Great Wick. Uh, oh, they actually hating me. I'm gonna send you a gift, and there's a chance that you're gonna vote for my guy, and you actually also gonna receive a gift. Your Grace, you have invested a lot of gold and improved your holdings. No idea what this event is about. And some more gold in here. Great. Please vote for my guy. Please. I need it. My beloved granddaughter is concerned as she's still not married. Hmm... You're actually liberator us also. Okay, I'm gonna find you someone, but... Doesn't really matter who you're gonna marry. Someone who's gonna be accepting matrilineal marriage. Some random dude. Sounds great. Also, if you're now voting for this guy, let's go and try to vote for, like, my cousin. At least he's my dynasty, but I'm gonna vote for him. Uh, 
in hopes of this guy starting to work here for him as well. And then when my grandson gonna be old enough, I'm gonna change the world for him back. The wall is under assault again. Okay, I'm gonna join on your side, but not sure if I'm gonna be helping you this time. Okay, someone gonna be supporting my cousin? Please, I'm already too old. So I could die every second. Okay, we have some more possible salt wives. Now let's get you. Yeah, this pop-up is actually not working. When I'm clicking the, clicking in the middle, it's actually giving me the top choice for some reason. Also, there's an army of riverlands. Which I don't really want to deal with, but I would have to. I have a river crossing. Is it possible that they're gonna lose? Middle flank is falling. Mm, yeah, actually lost. That's surprising. Managed to capture anyone? No. My sword confirms that my concubine is pregnant. Yay! Come on, vote for someone who I want. We have a daughter from my new wife. I would prefer son. And this uh, huge one. Okay. Let's go to the you. Yeah, no one's still willing to vote for this guy. Let's just get our grandson then, anyways. And actually, it's already time for me to have a break, guys, so I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna continue in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, you could subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, you should have to do it, and I would answer you as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.